But in the last hour, we were talking about uh, quick sales uh, of homes. Effectively, sell your house to a firm for quick sale. Now, the OFT is investigating three firms which buy people's houses. It says some customers are losing tens of thousands of pounds by handing over their homes for far less than the market value. Well, Mike Clayton from Westfield Home Buyers was listening to that. He's called us. Mike's on the line now. Morning. Uh, good morning, James. I oh, was yeah. just listening with interest. Yeah, I'm sure you were. So tell us about your business. Tell us what it does. Right. Well, first of all, uh, by profession, I'm a chartered surveyor, which means I have a, a, a professional code of practice to adhere to. So what I do, I'm answerable to people. Um, our company, Westfield, the Westfield Property Group and Westfield Home Buyers, was formed in 1989. So we're not newcomers. We've been doing this now for... 25 odd years um, and there is a place for the cash for homes industry um, it is not it but the main problem is and, and this is where I think a lot of readers are, are seeing and some people are experiencing some, some very serious problems uh, is that the industry is totally and utterly unregulated that means anybody can set up from a, the back of a, a flat in Wapping with the only company of a mobile phone and a website and pretend to be cash buyers. And sadly, and this is the problem, sadly, probably 70% of the companies that we see advertising nationally and in our own local paper, sadly, they are not cash buyers. And this is the biggest problem with the industry. So if they're not cash buyers, what are they? They're using well, the, we, loans we, and other finance? Right. We use the, the term cash. We, we get people ringing us up and telling us all sorts of horror stories that there is a national company who, at the end of the day, the day before exchange of contracts, will reduce the offer by another 20% or £20,000. It's an abhorrent form of dealing with business. Um, and that, this is why we, we as a company, me as an individual, I have a letter in front of me from David Davis on House of Commons paper dated the 24th of April this year. And um, I'm discussing with him, because there is going to be a steering uh, committee um, to look into this very subject and I'm happy to give whatever information um, mm. I can about the practices that, that we see. Now in terms of what you do at Westfield Home Buys, do you, do, you, do you give people what is below the market rate to get them out of a house quickly? Well clearly, uh, clearly we cannot give the market value. We can offer everything but time, everything but price. We can offer a very, very speedy co a conclusion. We're not ambulance chasers. We don't hold a gun to our head. We do give people an alternative to the tried and tested method of selling and waiting. So and what, this is the, what, this is the problem, waiting. What kind of discounts do you manage to achieve? How much do you well, knock off the well, price? It's not a question of what we achieve. We, we, and each property is looked at in an individual. If, if a property we know we can sell it quicker, we will offer a higher price. The, the actual figures, it, 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 there's no such thing as a hard and fast price. Sure, because it depends on the market, doesn't it? We, but, we, okay, the, what, what are your margins, if you don't mind me asking? Margins? <laughs> yeah, how much are you making? Um, well, sometimes we make, we, we make a loss. I mean, I've just had two houses we've had for sale for nearly two years, and we've been paying empty rates on them for the last 18 months. Um, so sometimes we do. But of course, Clearly you, you, we are you, a commercial business. Yeah, you're there to make money, obviously. But, but we cannot offer 100%. And I think anybody who sees some of the adverts that w we see in our current paper, the whole Daily Mail, companies claiming to offer 95 or 100% of the market value, I don't think you have to be too right a person to realise how can that be? How can well, that depends on what the market value is, doesn't it? It's, uh, very, it's a very subjective point. And I think, I think the other thing to remember here is a home and a house is only worth what someone's prepared to pay for it. Indeed it is, and I think if you get three estate agents round, you'll get three very different figures. And who is right, you know, what is the price of a service? It can only be judged at the end of the day, and who was right at the time. But that's often six months or 12 months ahead. What we do is take away that time scale and put somebody in a very good position to buy the next house, because effectively they can go ahead immediately, because we allow them to do so, because we're putting the money on their house from day one. Well, no one's forcing anyone to do this. Nobody's for No, no. We, we, we give a lot of free advice. We, you know, if somebody comes along and it's not for us, we don't just say, no, put the phone down. Do you, do you, do you not, though, on the other hand, get people who are in maybe financial dire straits who, for whatever reason, have got no other option? No, I think, I think the, an the answer to that is, uh, if, if you're talking of sort of repossession cases, that is a very small proportion of the people who we deal with. We, we deal with people with, all, with houses in all price range, ranges, but they appreciate that if they get a buyer for, 
from a company like ourselves where we, our word is our bond and the figure we give them from day one will be the figure they will get at the end of the day. There will be no you know, chipping or whatever you might like to call it at the last moment, which happens a lot in this industry and we hate it. We have ladies ringing us up in tears. I wish we'd have gone with you. We went with such and such. They offered us £5,000 more. Two days before the removal van was due to come, they rang up, said the market had taken a downward turn and dropped the price £20,000. So what, despite being in the industry yourself, you welcome this forthcoming regulation? I, I've, I've, I've campaigned for it for a very, very long time. For a very long time. Well, we, we've got letters in front of them on the desk in front of me. Right, right. Four arrived this week mm. from people who's, who said, you know, yes, we know we weren't getting 100% of the market value, but you, we, for whatever reason, and none of those were repossessions, for whatever reason, it suited our purpose at the time. We'd seen something, we didn't want to lose it, okay, we took a little bit of a dip on ours, but we put us in a marvellous position and we didn't lose the house. We were put to set our hopes and aspirations on. All right, Mike. Thanks for thanks for talking to Thank us this morning. Much, Mike Clayton of Westfield Home Buyers. It, it's a case of seller beware, isn't it, rather than buyer beware? But interesting to get a perspective there from a whole firm who, despite being in the game, are, are, are wholeheartedly asking and welcoming more regulation of the industry.